just a quick demo to show you how I uh, bring songs into uh, the app on song, the icon of which is right there. Uh, sometimes I go to Google and I search for the song and work my way to um, importing it to on song. Or you can just go to Safari itself. And if you go to Safari, um, um, right here, then you can search for uh, www.ecords.com or you can create a um, bookmark for it, which I have done. It's right there. Okay, so if I click on that, E chords comes up, same as you get if you um, typed in ecords.com at the top. And now, um, now I can sign in. Uh, it's not asking me to sign in because I signed in a little bit earlier. So now if I want to search, uh, I'm going to go actually to this little search command there. And the search bar shows up here. I thought it would be there, but it's actually here. And then suppose you wanted to type in Bob Dylan, which I'm doing. Is that correct? I got a little bit too much there. And then search. And a list of, of options come up. But you can scroll down to, not tickets, but you can scroll down to Bob Dylan chords or individual songs are here too. Okay, but uh, if you want to see them all, you can go to Bob Dylan chords on E chords and a list of his tunes will pop up. You know, and there's all of his songs that they have stored. So if you were going to find one of these songs, um, you know, you see a lot that you recognize, a lot that I don't recognize because there were so many. And if you went to um, <clears throat> Forever Young Acoustic, and then what you see now is the actual song with chords and lyrics. All right, so now what you can do is go to the top of the page and you'll see and hopefully your iPad is the same. You'll see the upload input uh, icon. If you click on that, it'll um, ask you where you want to go. And look what I've got here. Add to OnSong. So I'm not sure yours will show up first. I moved it. I actually moved it so it would be the first option. So when I go add to on song, and I can go back now and look at some more of his tunes and do a few more. Um, or I could actually type in a someone else and do some other tunes by going back to the original page and searching for someone else. You see, I could search for... Uh, you know, um, you know, you can go James Taylor if you wanted to, etc. In any event, and then you could search for a list of James Taylor songs. Now, when you go back to On Song and you open it, it opens and it immediately asks you if you want to import the songs you sent. See it? And I've got three files because I did a couple before I started the video. Uh, so I'm going to say import, and they're going to pop up one, uh, one after the other. There's Diamonds and Rust, which I did before I started the video. And, um, and the other ones, now I can go to Artist and go to the Bs. You see, I can go to B. And now I can go to Bob Dylan. And here's a list of his songs that I have. Um, but, you know, I'm thinking that they may not, the ones I just imported, I have to do something to them. For example, 
let me let me see if I can go back and find that by looking at songs. Now I have a list of all the songs, and one of the songs was Diamonds and Rust that I did. Uh, but what I want to do is, yeah, here's the thing. You see, it still says, uh, oh, it's actually, it was listed under Joan Baez. But you see where it says E chords? So I want to get that song up. And uh, I want to get rid of the E chords just so it's neater and cleaner. So I'll go over to this pencil, which really is how it's going to allow me to edit. And now I can actually type. So I just got the cursor there. I'm going to back out the E chords. I'm going to put Joan Baez's name on the second line. And I'm going to create some space between her name and the song. I can get rid of the dash if I want to. And uh, then that'll look like this now, you see. And uh, now once you have that, you can do that with every one of them. You, you can go up to this little icon right up here with the uh, indicating, you know, equalization of some kind. And here you see lyrics. If you want, you can go to lyrics and increase the size of the lyrics. You can increase the size of the chords. I like to spread my lines a little bit because I'm scrolling anyway. All right, my video got interrupted uh, by a phone call. Again, and if you wanted to make the chord stand out, you can hit a color, you see. And uh, then you just click on that, and it goes away. Now, down here, you see the arrow. This gives you tempo. You can do tempo right here. If you know the, the beats per minute that you wanted. And um, it'll, it'll click along with it. Uh, you can do that. And then this here allows you to de determine how fast it will scroll. So you can say it's a three minute song or a two minute song. Say three, well, it's, it's something like that. Now, when you're ready to play, if you have the pedal, the pedal will start at scrolling. Uh, if you don't have the pedal, you can just hit the arrow and it's gonna start scrolling up for you based on the time you put in there. And, um, and if you hit the and if you hit the tempo, it clicks the beats per minute for you. So that's the idea of that. Now I'm gonna stop the the scrolling. And I want to show you now, I'm gonna take that song and I wanna add it to a set that I've created sets. So the first thing I want to do is hit the star, and it'll ask me which set I want to put it in. These are the sets that I've already created. So um, I don't have a Joan Baez set. I keep scrolling in the wrong place here. Yeah. Um, but I do have, um, you know, um, Johnny Cash, as you can see, the Eagles and so forth. So if I created uh, a um, <clears throat> set of um, folk, for example, I could put in uh, those kinds of songs. So I'm not going to do that right now because I don't have the right set. Well, I can look. I'll show you. I'm just going to. I hit the plus sign up above. Let me cancel. There's a plus sign. I'm going to add plus, and where it says date, I'm going to get rid of that. I don't need that. Cancel the date. Let me see. Let me go back. Plus. Um, well, let me put it here then, because that's not working. Okay. I remember that part. All right, so here's the title. I'm going to put folk. Okay, done. And now, see, there I have a set called folk. And so what I can do, now that i got diamonds and rust here, all I have to do is put, see the arrow showed up right there? And now I have a set in this uh, called folk, and diamonds and rust is the first song in that set. Now, so, see, there's all songs, which is the same as clicking down here. By artist, by key. Now, here are my sets. And here should be a list. This is uh, my last set that I worked with, Paul Simon. So here's a list of all my sets, and they're alphabetical. There's the folk. See, it says one song. So if I click on that, 
that one song is already there, you see? And you can keep adding songs. So this is just the beginning uh, of uh, how you can integrate music that you might want to have in stored just in case somebody asks you for it. One of the nice things about sets, here are my sets, I'm going to go back, and if I'm doing, for example, um, say a Billy Joel, I got a set, no songs added yet. Okay, I thought I had some. So um, if I have, say, um, here's Gordon Lightfoot. I've got eight songs in Gordon Lightfoot. And the first one is beautiful. You know, sometimes I just don't know. And as I scroll down, you can also scroll by the, doing that too, by the way, watch. you hit If you hit your finger in the bottom, it'll scroll. Actually, I thought it would be, I thought it would uh, go down to the, the bottom of the page. But the minute I do that, th when I get to the bottom, it goes to the next song. You can do that here too, see? Next song. You can only do that with sets. You can't do that with you know, the general population of songs. And again, if you hit down here, that should scroll. Yeah, it's scrolling now. See the pause? And this, if you go like here, it goes backwards. Should it go backwards? Yep. Okay. So, so forth and so on. So, well, that's just something to get you started. And um, if you have any particular questions, uh, send them along and um, I, can, I can tell you all about it. Okay. Look at some of the tutorials on YouTube by the company itself. Alrighty. Take care.